Hey everyone, Code Bonder Money 456 here recording another video. So yeah, today giving you another news update. So recently Nintendo released about two commercials of the Nintendo 3DS talking about the price and also about what games you can get right now and what games are coming out this year. And the cool thing is that um, they basically confirmed that Star Fox 64 3D is coming out this September. Um, Pokemon Rumble Blast is coming to the 3DS October. Um, Super Mario 3D Land is coming November. And that uh, Mario Kart 7 is coming for a December launch. And here's one really, really funny thing. Kid Icarus was not shown in that commercial whatsoever. So... I think it's quite possible from after we've heard that Europe's release for Kid Icarus is going to be pushed to um, next year in 2012, um, the first quarter. I believe that Kid Icarus is going to be moved to 2012 for the U.S. as well, seeing how a lot of Euro most most of Europe is actually getting 3DS games before the U.S. is. So. Yeah, it kind of sucks because I really wanted Kid Icarus. That was what that was actually my most highly anticipated game for the 3DS right now. Besides, you know, me kind of wanting Star Fox 64 3D right now just because I want something to play on my 3DS. Because currently, I have no 3DS games right now. I just play DS games. But anyway, yeah. So I think um, Kid Icarus is going to have a 2012 um, release for the U.S. Which is kind of a bummer, but you know, I can wait, and besides, that is a bit easier on my wallet, because one thing for sure, I definitely need to get Super Mario 3D Land, um, Sonic Generations for the 3DS, um, Star Fox 64, I gotta get Skyward Sword, I gotta get Sonic Generations for 360, all this stuff, so I just don't have the money for Kid Icarus anyway, but still, kind of does stink. Anyway, uh, so yeah, also, um, what is it, uh, Destructoid had a recent interview with um, Operation, the people who are um, behind Operation Moonfall and all that stuff. And they're just talking about how um, how they came up with the name and uh, also how they're trying to uh, work. Like they have around 9,000 fans supporting Operation Moonfall, I believe. I mean, that is just one awesome name. I mean, it fits perfectly with um, Majora's Mask because the moon is supposed to fall on that game. An operation, kind of like rainfall, to get this game to come. But so far, they have around 9,000 um, fans, and then they're hoping to get a lot more when Skyward Sword comes out. Because whenever a Zelda game does launch, um, usually there are a lot more people um, who go to Zelda-based websites to look at walkthroughs, Easter eggs, stuff like that. So they're hoping that Major Majora's Mask 3D will come to the 3DS quite soon. We don't know when, but I have. Like I've said, it would be very easy to port that game because Ocarina of Time and Master Quest are very similar. Um, I'm sorry, not Master Quest, Majora's Mask are very similar. And graphically, they could just have the same graphic style on the 3DS and then just have, well, you know, like Majora's Mask basically as, the new, as a new game. So it'd be pretty cool. I really can't, I hope they bring it because I would love to play Majora's Mask and you know, I'm thinking maybe I might do a, just a regular Majora's Mask off like we wear um, after like Sky Skyward Sword comes out. Also, uh, you know, just there hasn't really been too much info lately anyway. Oh, also I forgot to say this. Um, the Wii U, I forgot to say this um, a couple of days ago. I believe the Wii U has a mag magnetometer or something like that. I can't recall what it's called. But um, anyway, it's basically what the PlayStation Move has, which is which allows it to be a tad more accurate over um, Wii Motion Plus. So that's pretty cool that the Wii U is going to have that and the controller. Um, I don't know how they really plan to use it. Um, but, you know, increased accuracy, there's nothing wrong with that. And, I mean, PlayStation Move is pretty cool. I mean, it's more accurate than Wii Motion Plus. But, you know, I kind of just find PlayStation Move a bit of a ripoff. And not many great games on it. But, anyway, that's just my opinion. I don't know. But, uh, still, I mean, I mean, why? I mean, you should follow success anyway. So, I mean, whatevs. But, anyway, uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, I'm getting a channel update right now. So, as you know, I've been trying to gain money, be a YouTube partner, and I'm trying to gain money on Blip TV. And you're probably wondering right now, wait a second, why is this video on YouTube, not Blip TV? Well, it also is going to be on Blip TV. But, you know, I just decided I'm going to stop doing these news updates on Blip TV now, put them on YouTube. 
because I am getting uh, quite a few complaints about it and uh, trolls. Also, um, I mean, I don't really care about trolls, but still, it's coming more, getting more of them than before. And, uh, you know, I just decided, you know what, I should go on and just post it up on YouTube. And another thing, Blip TV, while I've been trying to get, like, a ton of views on it, I've currently made around 1,300 views on Blip TV right now, so not spectacular whatsoever, compared to YouTube, where I'm averaging around 15,000 views a day. And here's the thing, with YouTube as a partner, um, I would be getting around $1.40 a day, basically. I mean, for um, every thousand views, I average around fifteen thousand views. So I'd basically be getting around twenty-two bucks a day, which is really good because you know, twenty-two bucks seven weeks. Uh, that'd be a pretty nice chunk of change. But the thing is, is that with Blip TV, I'm getting around oh, I don't know, maybe a dollar and sixty or seventy for every thousand views. And you know, that's more than being a YouTube partner thing is, is that Blip TV isn't as popular as YouTube. Right now, I've, out of, I believe, 600 views, I've only gotten around 60 cents. Yeah, it's that bad. So, and if I'm struggling, like, if I'm trying to get, um, a thousand views every three days, you know, that just kind of, that's kind of rough. I would have to be really busy uploading videos onto Blip TV almost all the time. I mean, I just... I don't have the time for that now with school going on and I mean I will still upload these videos on the blip TV and I mean if you can watch the videos on blip TV I'd really appreciate it but I mean it's not something that's gonna replace being a YouTube partner anyway and if I don't become a YouTube partner then I can't pay for internet so then I'll probably just have to stop making videos so it kinda sucks but um you know I don't know if I do if I'm not a YouTube partner I don't know, I might sell like my HD TV for probably a few hundred bucks to kind of pay for it. And I mean, I probably won't be able to do walkthroughs on like 360 games or Wii games but for, um, for a while. But you know, uh, I need the money, so I don't know if it's going to come either way. I mean, because if I do become a YouTube partner, I mean, I could easily get another TV to do more 316 PS3 or Wii walkthroughs anyway afterwards so if I just have to go off without be having a TV for a while then I guess I might as well just do that so but uh yeah so also one thing I am planning to do on Blip TV is uh re-upload my Donkey Kong Country Returns walkthrough onto that channel because on YouTube this walkthrough that walkthrough is a total flop it's so just didn't get a lot of views even though I um, did the walkthrough on the first day the game came out, so, like, it started the walkthrough. It took me forever to beat, like, to just upload the videos onto YouTube, so I just didn't get a lot of views for it. And, you know, that could really hurt my chances of becoming a YouTube partner, so, plan to re-upload that on Blip TV. If you would like to see my Donkey Kong Country Returns walkthrough on again, or if you just want to, like, see it for the first time, um, I'm going to plan on re-uploading it on Blip TV, so you can definitely check it out if you want to. And hopefully, here's the thing. Maybe if I upload enough videos onto Blip TV, that way I'll get enough views, like, that way I'll get enough views so that Blip TV will distribute my videos onto YouTube. So here's the thing. If I have these videos distribute, I can just upload all my videos on Blip TV it will automatically re-upload them onto YouTube and I'll be getting more money like a dollar and seventy for every thousand views and because I have more of a following on YouTube and it's more popular on YouTube I'll be getting I'll be like a Blip TV partner and then I'll be getting money off ads by having them on YouTube so pretty cool I mean it'll all work out just need to I'm just gonna keep I'm gonna do these updates on my channel now but I'm also gonna put them up on Blip TV, so if you have the, if you're, if it's possible for you to go to Blip TV, I mean, really appreciate it for the views, and you know, just help out a ton, so, that way I can earn money, even if I don't become a YouTube partner, if I do get enough videos and enough views up on Blip TV, that way I can possibly have it distribute onto YouTube, and that will help me out a ton, so anyway, that's basically it. There hasn't been much news lately for the 3DS or Wii U or anything. It's kind of been like a drought for the past two days. Kind of strange, but anyway. 
you know. So, have a good, um, that, thanks for watching, Cabana Money 456 signing out. Peace, everyone. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more 3 vids, walkthroughs, and updates. So, yeah, see ya. Have a good day.